All right, guys. Hi, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina of Gina Renee Art and Budgets. I'm a zero-based budgeter who uses the cash envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. So if you're new here and you're looking for videos all about clever and easy, simple ways to save money, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Um, today's video, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Let's just start there. I probably need Erica to bling this out for me because I feel like an outsider. Um, so I'm at my work desk. So forgive me. I know it looks all cluttered, but um, this is the only available space that I had because I wanted to show you guys my fives and ones challenges in action okay because every time i upload a short or a reel about it you know it's always like some kind of weird comment like it's so much money or something something anyway so i'm going to show you today exactly what i did today and this is how i do every single time I make a transaction out of this wallet only, okay? So this is my spending wallet. This is my variable expenses, grocery money, gas money, spending money, miscellaneous. I only have four envelopes because I don't like to have a lot of different envelopes. It drives me nuts, especially in the store. All right, so today, if you guys, I'll link up in the iCards, I think, uh, my video that I did when I was showing you what I had left in my wallet. So you can see what I started with, all right? So I said that in my essentials, I had $80. I had three 20s and two 10s, okay? So keep that in mind, right? And so I went out today to the store. I went to two different stores. First store I went to was Food for Less, right? I just went because they had soda on sale. Mind your business. Don't worry about what sold and how much and all that. So anyway, <laughs> as you can see, let me see if I can get it up here close enough. I, my total was $21.55, right? I had three 20s and two 10s. So I gave the cashier $30, a 20 and a 10, and she gave me $8.45 back, right? So when she gave me my change back, I took it and stuck it in this little back pocket right here, okay? I don't put it back in my envelope. The only thing I do is make sure it's only fives and ones. In the event it was a 10, 20, whatever, I put that back in my wallet. That's eligible to for me to keep spending. But fives and ones... I tuck it here because it's no longer eligible. All right. So that was the first store. Second store I went to was good old Dollar Tree. And my total was, this is not a good receipt, $11.25. So at this point, I had two 20s and one 10 left. So I gave the, her a $20 bill, right? Now, I don't want to hear it. I know I could have went right here and got a dollar and 25 cent. This is my choice to help me save. Okay. So I gave her a $20 bill because I have conditioned myself that once I put it here, it literally has to be a dire emergency for me to touch it. And that's one of the reasons why I don't wait till the end of the week or the end of the pay period to do this. I do it every single day to get it out of my wallet. Okay. So then she gave me back $8 and eight cents. And I put that right here. So that's what we're working with today. The change, of course, I'll just, it'll add up a little longer and I'll put it in my change jar. All right. So here I am at home pulling all my fives and ones out. Okay. We already talked about the $16. Ain't no secret because we just went over it. All right. So all I do, it's so simple, y'all. All I do, you right? So here's our $16. My money got to be straight. So hold on. Even though I'm just going to put it away. 
all right i even got my little cash tray out so i'm gonna start with my dollar challenge you all know i use little helpful files little um bible verse challenges each letter of every single one is worth a dollar for me all right so this one needs four dollars to be complete one two three and four right so we're going to add this four dollars we're going to color in our four spaces and for your viewing pleasure i'll speed it up okay so all I do is this is 16 letters and I even count punctuation. Let me move this. I even count punctuation. So it feels like an exclamation point or something. I would count that as a dollar. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars. This one is complete. All right. Now, once I complete it, I go back to my other binder. This is where I keep all of them. All right. So complete 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 i add this to my completed and i take out the next one all right good this one's kind of long the next couple should last me a little bit but you see i'm just adding it and bringing a new one out all right so i can put that to the side this one's nice i can keep using this so let's see what we got left one two all right so we just start the next one two dollars all right two dollars in the envelope we go into my dollar challenge all right and i just keep this with my sharpie so i don't mess up the colors or anything and i'm ready for tomorrow if i go spend money if i don't go out and i don't go spend anything guess what i don't have any more dollars or fives all right now the fives this is where i use my i got fives on it challenge right so i got ten dollars so I like to go in order. It's just like, I don't know, the kind of obsessive part of me. So the next one would be 15. So I only have $10. So what I do until I get another five is I know it's gonna go in this envelope. So I don't fold it or anything. I just kind of put it here to remind myself that this one isn't quite finished yet. So and I get when I get another five, I'll add it and I'll fold it like the rest. And that's it. That's all I do. It's the, look, each one, so 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 is $50. So each page I've saved $50 in $5 bills. Okay. So we got 50, 100, 50, 200, 15, 25. Okay. So this one I won't do until I get another five and so forth. That is it that is the whole thing you guys that is it that's all i do like it couldn't get any simpler right couldn't get any simpler the hardest part is disciplining yourself to where every time you spend some money you pull out those fives and ones and put it in a separate place and leave them alone that's the hardest part. Literally one day I went and I had a taste for a McDonald's caramel sundae. And it was like, I want to say $2 and some change. All I had was a 20. I gave her a 20 and I'm like, okay, they at least give me a 10 back and I could put that back. Why she give me all fives, three fives and <laughs> like two ones. So as hard as it was, I had to take all that and stuff it in the back of my wallet because why? Fives and ones are taboo for me, all right? So I made a reel about it. It was like last year sometimes. Like that was like the most expensive Sunday I ever got. It literally cost me, <laughs> it cost me $20. So I guess it helped me on uh, my path to lose weight as well, huh? Because <laughs> I don't think I ever want to take a chance on a Sunday being $20 ever again. So leave a comment down below. If you think you can do this, I challenge you. You don't have to have this. You don't have to have 
little helpful files challenges i know josie from simple plans she has something different it's motivational but you color it in and you can make each one worth a dollar or two dollars it's up to you it's dependent on your budget and you can still use ones but you're just using two for each letter if you balling out like that that's on you me i'm just using ones okay so oh and in the binder i got this from Lindsay in like a set so it was like a printable for one and i think i got all of these at once it was like for 12 months so it's like these and it's a printable so when i fill it up if i wanted to i could just print it all over again i don't have to laminate it so if you don't have a laminator you literally could just use one envelope and and put it in here not laminate it and color it in and then when you when you complete the whole thing you could just print the whole thing again like it's just that simple and it was not very pricey i have linked her um etsy shop in my description box for you try it out or make one up yourself everybody can use free Canva. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful to kind of like enlighten, not just enlighten you, because I'm trying to enlighten the doubters. I'm trying to enlighten the people that uh, make excuses. I mean, because <laughs> they're out there, but also encourage you and motivate you and show you that you don't have to have a lot of money to save literally this is money this is not bill money this is money that i allocated to myself to spend and i'm just using the change that's it so give me a thumbs up guys if you like this whole process if you think it's easy and join me let me know in the comments you're gonna start it you're gonna try it or do you already do it leave me a comment down below but if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe. Like I'm, I'm going to throw you all out some gems, some real gems. And finally, my book linked in the description box. This is going to help you easy meal plan. All right. It's going to help you save your family money, time and stress at meal times. It's, it's all focused around using what you already have to minimize your grocery budget. That simple planning a meal for each day to keep you from impulse spending at Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and all that kind of stuff. So give it a shot. The book is reasonable. It's available on Amazon. The link is in my description box. And as always, guys, first I thank you and I thank God, but I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. Bye for now.